All right, if y'all tired of the noodling videos, here we go. We're gonna take the wood miser today. I've got a 28-inch uh, log. Well, 27, 27 and some change, half, five, eight, something like that. Eight foot long, it's gonna clear up at eight foot anyway. Uh, bark slipping on it, friend of mine cut it a couple of months back. It was right, you know, right in the middle of the noodling season. I couldn't stop to do it. Oh, I had a lot of other stuff going on. Oh, it don't matter about the bark slipping, she's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with the lumber. Oh, now if it sits there for, you know, a year or so, it's gonna, you know, the beetles are gonna go into it and start messing it up. But a couple of months, it's good. Bark slipping on it, knock the bark off of it, clean the dirt off of it, and uh, fix to get at it right there. We'll see what that little wood miser will cut. See how much money we can save. And I had a lot of people say, well, man, you've got access to timber and all that right there. I do, but uh, if you own a portable sawmill, like this one's ground mounted now, it's not portable. But if you own a portable sawmill, more than likely, people are gonna come to you with their lumber or, or call you, say, come cut my logs or whatever, and they can cut them on half. So you're gonna have the same access that I do to, uh, to cutting lumber. And either that or you're gonna be making a, a price per foot to cut it up for them. So either way you go with these sawmills, this is the, by far the best uh, investment that I've ever made is this thing right here. You know, I'm, I'm cutting my framing, my, my, my two by tens, twelves, eights, sixes, and now I've even cut two by fours, oh, because they're, you know, they cost so much. So all the framing and all the siding on houses, oh, rafters, floor joists, you know, all that stuff right there you can cut. I'm gonna cut these into one bys and just see just how wide, you know, I'm thinking we're gonna be able to get some, uh, possibly some 20 inch wide boards out of here, I'm hoping. And uh, it'll be make really good board and batten siding because it is tight grain. It's old, uh, old growth pine, and it should hold up outside pretty good. That's what we've got on the gym over here. And I never have put anything on it. Oh, it should last a long time, long time outside. It will, especially if you keep it treated or stained or something like that. But anyway, we ain't gonna get off on that. We're gonna just see how much we can cut out of this. See how many board feet we get out of a 27 inch log eight foot long y'all hang in there we're gonna put you on fast motion to see what we can do Let's get y'all caught up. Oh, started out with the dull blade. I hated to stop right in the middle of that time lapse and swap blades and all that, go through all that mess. So I just went ahead and just kept cutting. But you see just what it took, just what I took off of that thing, just to square that log up. All them's one inch is thick. I done measured them. I'm thinking I'm gonna get some 16s, some 14s and 12s and uh, possibly a, you know, maybe a 10 or so uh, wide on, on some of these right here. But y'all hang in there we're gonna we're gonna see what it's gonna cut and i'll do a video at the end you know I'll, I'll finish the video up with you know exactly how much it cut but i'm fixing to swap the blade right now it's squared up 20 inches wide 19 so we're gonna get 19 one by 20s out of this thing let me tell you something folks when you start putting like if you're doing board and batting or something on the side of a barn or house or something like that and you're covering up 20 inches every time you slap one of them boards up and then put a three inch bat over the crack and just keep on going. I mean, it don't take long. You done wrapped around something big. And see, that one will cut a 20. You know, so it'll be 20 inches wide. That one right there will probably clear up. It's a little bit bent, crooked, but it'll still probably clear up at 14. And then that's, of course, going to be 12s and 12s and 12s. But uh, it don't take long, what I'm saying. And, and you can you can wrap around some, uh, you can cover up some area with uh, with this big, wide wood like this. I was crowding her pretty good though, that dull blade and that 20 inches wide on that old growth pine. It's tight grain, it's hard. It's uh, So I was crowding her pretty good, little 18 horse Briggs. Tongue hanging out, but hey, I'm fixing to put a new blade in there and we fixed to get this thing, uh, get her cut on up and then I'll finish up the video, show y'all exactly how many board feet we got out of this one log that was 27 and some chain, 27 and a half, uh, eight foot long. Y'all hang in there, we're gonna get it done. All right, let's finish up the video right here. Oh, 19 one by 20s. 
four one by sixteens, two one by fourteens, two one by twelves, and two one by tens out of one log. All right, this was the butt cut of the tree. The small end being twenty seven and a half inches. The the butt cut. The bottom was probably thirty, may have been thirty one, thirty two. You know, it's bigger at the base. Oh, eight foot cut first one. 346 board feet out of that one log. All right. This is the rest of the tree right here. Okay. We're going to get at least 350 out of this one because this one's, this one's longer. So we're looking at, oh, what would you say? 15, 1700, maybe 1700, 16, 1700 board feet out of one log, which is, a board foot is 12 by 12 by one inch thick. So it's 12 inches wide, 12 inches long, and then one inch thick. Okay, it's also, uh, you know, square feet. So this is actually covering, this will this will actually cover this and this right here, probably 16, 1700 square feet of wall. Not too bad out of one tree, a 30 inch tree at the base, probably. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, appreciate y'all.